Our theme for today's episode is find joy wherever you are. There are times in life when it's pretty easy to experience joy, like when an amazing client hires you or when money unexpectedly falls into your lap when your kids are perfectly behaved little angels, or when the weather's bright and sunny, when you're healthy, when everything's going great. And then there are times when it's not quite that easy to experience joy, like when there's a pandemic and your routine is thrown out of whack, or when your kid's having a tantrum in the middle of Super Target, or when your business is struggling, or when you get fired, when you want to do something new, but your spouse disagrees and doesn't want to cooperate. When things are not going according to plan. The challenge is, how can you find joy even during these messy times? How can you find joy right in your own home, right on your street, right in your present situation, right where you are? That's what we're talking about today, finding joy in all the corners of your imperfect, complicated life. You know, I spent so many years complaining about the fact that I live in a small city like Evansville, Indiana, and I dreamt of living somewhere bigger, somewhere more exciting like LA or New York or Paris. And I kept telling myself, as soon as my kids graduate from high school and move out of the house, bye-bye Evansville, I'm moving too. But you know what? Recently, my attitude has shifted. I'm not in such a big rush to move out of town because I'm learning how to find joy exactly where I am. I'm looking at my life with fresh eyes and I'm finding joy in my own neighborhood on my neighborhood walk and finding joy on local hiking trails and with people right here in town. So yes, I still wanna travel to other places and experience other cultures, but now in my late 40s, I'm finally realizing that joy's been here all along. Beauty, awe, joy, it's always right here. You just have to notice it and let it in. So today we're gonna talk about how to do this, how finding joy improves your health, your energy. Joy is medicine, joy is fuel, and joy changes everything. So here we go. Oh hey, I'm Susan Hyatt and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids and I'm married and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things. We're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. It's time for another round of lows and highs. Are you feeling low? Stuck in a crummy situation and not sure how to get out of it? Need a lift? Send your dilemma to me and I might reply to your email on the show. So today's email comes from Chris and here's her situation. Dear Susan, I follow your work online and I signed up the last time you offered your Miracle Week challenge. You always talk about pleasure and finding joy and staying open to miracles And I appreciate your positive outlook, but here's my issue. I feel trapped in my life for a lot of different reasons. I don't enjoy my job, but can't afford to quit. I'm dealing with health issues that zap my energy. I have young kids at home and their grandparents live far away. So I don't have much support day to day and I want to feel more joy, but it's hard. I feel like The part of my brain that registers joy is broken or numb or something. I just feel so tired all the time. If you have any advice for me, please share. P.S. It's okay to use my first name, but not my last name, please. Thank you, Chris. So Chris, thanks for the message and for your honesty. It's not always easy to admit that you feel trapped, sad, or tired. 
I know I spent many years pretending like I was totally fine when I was definitely not. And so I'm applauding you for sharing how you're feeling and reaching out for help. I do have some thoughts for you. So one thing that I wanna encourage you to do is start small. Create a tiny little joy corner in your home or take a short walk and challenge yourself to notice one beautiful thing in your neighborhood. Burnout is real. It's a real health issue and you might be experiencing that. You need to rest and find a way to do this, which might mean taking some paid sick days from work or changing your routine to get more sleep. Instead of why can't I have a brand new life, shift to how can I find joy here, right now, right in my current life. Joy is energizing and the more you find joy where you are, the better you feel, the more energy you have, and the more you can use this energy to transform your body, your career, your life, and eventually move things in the direction you want. So joy is the fuel. In every situation, you have two options. You can allow yourself to think a low quality thought. This is a thought that causes you to feel stuck, trapped, depleted, tired, powerless, or you can choose a high quality thought. For example, here's a low quality thought. I've made so many mistakes. I chose the wrong career. I chose the wrong partner. I chose the wrong city and now I'm stuck. I've got myself into a hole and I'll never get out. I'm trapped. High quality thought, I am not trapped. I created this chapter of my life and I can create a new chapter too. I can find joy right here where I am and I can appreciate the life I've got while working on making changes. Appreciation and change can happen at the same time. Remember when you're facing a problem in your life, ask yourself, am I thinking a low quality thought right now or a high quality thought? And ask yourself, what is the high quality solution to this problem? Those questions will guide you in the right direction. Choose the high quality thought and the high quality solution. Here's a question I love asking everyone I meet. What's something small, inexpensive or free that just makes you feel rich? Joy makes me feel rich when I create a little moment of joy in my day, like sitting on this patio, or when I notice something that brings me joy, I immediately feel richer. So, okay, here's something that makes me feel like a million bucks. So my next door neighbor, who I have lived next door to for 17 years, I did not even realize until recently on a walk that she has a beautiful swing in her tree. She's a beautiful, huge tree in her backyard with a fun swing. When's the last time you hopped on a swing? Like when you were a little kid and spun around. The other day I was here with my crew. We spotted the swing, I hopped on it. I had so much fun in the sun, just spinning, letting the wind blow through my hair. I felt so rich. So when you're planning your day, it's important to include little moments that make you feel emotionally rich. Because when you feel rich, your stress levels drop, your creativity goes up, you come up with brilliant ideas, and it's easier to make moves, make money, and make your life better than ever. Feel rich to get rich. It's time for the question of the day. And this is the part of the show where I share a question for you. Yes, you, the beautiful, amazing person who's watching right now. So here's our question of the day. What's been the most joyful part of your day so far? Post an answer down below in the comments. What's brought you the most joy today? Was it cuddling with your dog? Was it watching your cat play with her toy? Sipping tea in bed? Inhaling the smell of your baby's head. Aw, my kids are 19 and 21. They don't let me sniff their heads anymore. <laughs> Taking a shower and being left alone for 10 freaking minutes. I'm excited to see what you share. Head down below and post your moment of joy. Do you run a business or a side business or intend to launch one soon? Are you currently earning less than $100,000 a year? Would you like to start earning 100K per year and above? And are you a cool, creative, awesome human being who's willing to roll up their sleeves and get to work? Well, then you're invited to apply to join my mastermind on the six. 
on the six is a six month program and it's all about getting you to that six figure mark and beyond. You'll work with me and my team. We're gonna work on your mindset, your business plan, your marketing and sales systems, and your daily routine, all of it. We have a strong track record with this program. You can check out tons of glowing reviews from on the six clients who are earning more than ever before. Apply now and then you'll be able to schedule a quick phone call to discuss the program in more depth and determine if it's right for you. Moses, my cat, agrees. You better sign up. More info is here. So I'm tired of living in a world where women earn less than men, and I bet you're tired of it too. So let's get you earning significantly more than ever before. It's time. Let's do this. Apply now. On the 6th starts in July, and space is limited, so be sure to apply soon. Who's ready for a two-minute upgrade? Yes, I'm going to demonstrate how to upgrade a part of your life in two minutes or less. Big results, big improvement, big upgrade, and just a tiny little bit of time. So here we go today. Let's upgrade the experience that you have at night. You spend a third of your life in your bedroom, if not more. So let's bring more joy into this space. So there's a lot of different things that you could do and on future episodes, we will do them. I'm gonna talk about pillows and windows and plants and candles and clearing out clutter, all that kind of stuff. But what a difference it can make to have cute pajamas. I wanna show you some of my favorite pajamas. And listen, if you're currently sleeping naked, more power to you, commando, awesome. But you're walking around your house before you get into bed. So let's make sure your PJs or your robe adorn you like the queen that you are. So here's, this is like my newest little pajama set. That's so cute. I feel so good when I slip these on because I honestly used to sleep in Scott's oversized t-shirts years ago. And I don't know about you, it, it might have felt comfortable, but as soon as I started really upgrading my loungewear and my pajamas, I started feeling like a better um, representation of the queen that I am. So I like this one that has tigers on it. How cute are these? Right? And you can find cute PJs online for not a lot of money. Target has cute pajamas. Um, before I went on vacation last year, I bought these. And what happens when you upgrade your pajamas is that you upgrade your entire evening routine. So now that I'm obsessed with pajamas, this entire drawer is filled with cute pajamas. It's definitely upgraded my evening routine, but listen, like you can start with one set of cute PJs and notice how you feel because it can create more joy. And sometimes you have to fight for that joy, but you can do it. You can infuse more joy into your life and you'll reap so many benefits, mental health, happiness, energy levels, everything will rise. So even if you're sleeping commando, again, I applaud you, get a cute robe because like my friend Kana just said, if there's a fire in the middle of the night, you better have something to put on. <laughs> this has been Go Time TV. If this show has brought a little bit of positivity into your day, click the thumbs up or comment below. Do it, boom. Subscribe so that you never miss an episode. No matter what is going on in the world right now, it's always the right time to go after your goals, make positive change, and upgrade your life. And you can find joy wherever you are, even if you're stuck at home, even if money is tight, or even if your business or marriage is going through a rough patch. Whatever's going on, you can find joy right where you are. Open your eyes, look up from your phone, Joy is here. It's always here, even in the darkest of times. Take it in. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. You only get one life, make it count. It's go time.